Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, we're going to do a subscriber request and today we're going to do an intermediate to a somewhat advanced tutorial on lighting and more specifically on HDR lighting, also referred to as image-based lighting. Okay. So image-based lighting uh, refers to extracting and using light uh, coming from a spherical placed image around your scene. Sounds complicated, but I'll explain that, okay? The other uh, term you need to know is HDR or HDRI, uh, which stands for High Dynamic Range Imaging, okay? So before we get into that, let's talk about light in general, all right? So if I were to create a simple scene, and I'll just create a ground plane, and I'll pull that out, and I'll create a cube, and I'll just uh, move that up, so it's sitting on our grid. There we go. And we're going to zoom into that. And I'll just quickly bookmark this. View bookmark, edit bookmark. And we'll call it new. And apply and close. So we have every scene from the same angle. And we go up to our render settings. I'll just uh, close that out. I've been testing that a little bit. Let's just uh, hit render. OK. All right. So we see this cube sitting on the ground plane and we see some uh, light in the scene. OK, now, why do we see light at all? Because I didn't add any lights. OK, the reason why we see light is because there is default light set up in Maya. OK, I'm in Maya software right now, but if I switch to mental ray. Really not big of a difference. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our render settings that's this guy right here and we're going to go into our common tab uh, all the way down and we're going to turn off default light okay uh, let's hit render again all right well that's what happens when you turn off all the lights all right cool so what is light anyway, right? Let me explain. So light that we perceive as white light is in fact a range of colors. Everybody saw a rainbow at some point, right? And the reason why you see a rainbow is because of uh, moisture in the air and the light refracting in that moisture, okay? So white light is built up out of this color range. So let's say, for example, that you're looking at an apple and that apple is red, okay? The only reason why you perceive that apple to be red is because your eyes only see the color that's reflected by the surface of the apple, which means that all the other colors here, with the exception of red, are absorbed by the apple, and red is the only color that's reflected on the apple, okay? So that's why you perceive the apple to be red. So that means that out of that white light that contains all these colors, you know, some light uh, hits the surface and reflects and some light gets absorbed. Now, if we look at reflection, here's an example. You see the sky with all the light coming from the sky reflecting on this uh, watery surface here. OK, so that's reflection. So what is refraction? Refraction is when white light hits a surface that is somewhat uh, transparent and it breaks the light into the different colors that we perceive in that spectrum. Okay, so these are two things that are important to remember. All right, let's get back to Maya. All right, so we're back in our Maya scene. Um, first, we're going to look at direct lighting. So we're going to go to uh, create lights and let's do a uh, point light. I'm going to pull that out over here and up here. And I'm going to hit 7 on my keyboard. And by hitting 7, I'm activating the light in my scene. And you can see this is a direct light source. Okay, and depending on how I move it, you can see that my object is affected by it. Okay. Now, we don't have any color in our scene, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this cube, right-click, assign new material, we'll do a Lambert, and we'll turn that red, and we'll take a floor, 
Lambert and white. Okay, so we got this light source here. Oops, we got this light source here. There we go. And let's do a quick render with that. I'm going to go to my bookmark. So we're at the same situation. And we're just going to quickly hit render. So remember, with uh, with the exception of that light that I just introduced, there's no light at all in our scene. Okay. And there you go. Now, what's important to know here is that we perceive the, the red on our cube and we have our floor. However, we don't see the cube reflected in the floor. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some reflection to the floor to kind of create some reflection. Okay. So we're going to go down. We're going to select this guy assign new material and instead of a Lambert which is a non-reflective material we'll use a Fong material let's do Fong E and I'll make that white okay and we're just going to do a re-render all right now if you look closely you can see that our red cube is now reflected on this surface right there okay all right, now let's get into the topic of the day, um, image-based lighting. So uh, what image-based lighting does in Maya is it takes an image and it wraps that image around our object as a sphere, and it uses that information to illuminate our scene, okay? So I'm gonna take our light source, this guy right here, and I'm gonna delete it. Okay, so completely black, all right? Now we're going to go into our render settings and in order to do this, you need to have mental ray. Okay. Now, if you do not have mental ray, you're going to minimize this. You're going to go to, uh, windows settings, preferences and plugin manager. You're going to scroll down and in my case, back up. And here you have the Maya to mental ray dot MLL. Okay. That needs to be loaded and select auto load to be able to select mental ray in your render settings. Now, if you don't have this option in this list, don't worry. I'm going to place a link underneath the video explaining you how to get it, load it and use it. Okay, cool. All right. So we got that. We're going to go to our render settings and we're going to select mental ray. As I mentioned, we are going to go to our scene tab and we're going to select image based lighting. There we go. It has now been created. Okay. So what happened? Well, not much, you would think. All right. But if you scroll out, you can see that now there's a big sphere that has been created around our object. And now in this tab, uh, mental ray image based lighting shape, if we move up, we have the option to select this folder and to plug in an HDR image. So we're going to select that. I have a bunch of HDR files that I found, HDR in this case, and I'll also put some links underneath the video where you can find a free HDR images. okay? Uh, they're typically for non-commercial use, so keep that in mind, but it's nice to play around with, all right? So we're going to go and take this guy, Sky 1, and hit Open. Now, if you kind of zoom out, you can see that it's now projecting a semi-sphere because the bottom part is not looking like a sky, but the top part is, okay? And the image is going to use this information to uh, illuminate our scene. So we're going to go to View, Bookmark, and New. Remember, it's completely blank. We're just going to go to our render settings, Ray Mental Ray, and let's just hit this and see what happens. Okay. Now you're seeing some light in our scene. What you're seeing mainly because we have a reflective material on our floor is you see the reflection of our sky, but our cube is still pretty much dark. Uh, probably because our cube doesn't have a highly reflective material. That's one. And the second part is our image is reflecting on the surface and it's creating some light, but not a lot. So what we're going to do next is we're going to apply some reflective material to our cube. So we'll just take that, right click, assign new material, and I'm going to make this chrome. So MIA material X, material tab, presets, chrome, replace. 
and we're just going to go back and re-render and see if there's any change. And there you go. Suddenly your uh, cube is highly visible simply because it now has a reflective material. But we're not there yet. Um, there's one more option and that is this. If we minimize this and we go to our HDR, HDRI settings and you can see that it's not showing up here. So how do I get that back? Well, I go to my render settings. I go to the scene tab and next to this option here, I have this little checker that I can hit. And that should pull this up. Here we go. All right. So when we scroll down, we have the option to emit light. And um, keep in mind that an HDR image is not a typical image. It's a very specific um, high density image that contains light information. So we're going to add the option to emit light. Okay. And we're just going to do a re-render. Okay. So keep this in mind. This is going to take a bit longer, so I'll pause the video. All right, and here's the result. So as you can see, there's uh, quite a difference between using uh, image-based lighting without emitting light or with emitting light. Um, and, um, you know, depending on the materials that you choose, you will see a big difference, okay? So that is pretty much uh, what I wanted to uh, share with you guys on image-based lighting. Uh, this is a redo of a video I did, I think, two years ago. Um, but hopefully it will uh, help. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll help you if I can. Thanks for watching.